screaming at the opposition line out does nothing. Where do you stand? I don't think it does do much because you usually get the call before you go into the line out, don't you? Well, you, you take it away, mate. Uh, well, I'm not the line out <laughs> expert, but them shouting doesn't actually, shouldn't really make a difference because you already know where the ball's going. Let's hear something in the line. Like, uh, hurry up. Oh, nice, mate, yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Nick, where do you stand that forwards are more well-rounded than backs? Uh, I completely agree. Completely, completely agree. I, I, like, I, think, I think the backs are really good athletes, don't get me wrong. That doesn't take yeah. away from the backs. So you guys are great. Yeah, good. Um, but I think that the amount of stuff that we have to do in the game... Like what? And carry out, like, like mauling, scrummaging, running. Like we, we actually run like, as much as you do. Yeah, we but, do everything but far slower. Yeah, well, well, Riggsy. Yeah. That's Ben Old, by the way. <laughs> really quick. Probably, no probably, way, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, well I, think, I think it's close, though. Don't get me wrong. It's close, but. I think that backs are more finely tuned athletes, and you lads, to be fair, like the workloads forwards get through is ridiculous. pretty immense. It's ridiculous. Whereas us bats are a bit more like <laughs> finely tuned for the, oh, yeah. the top end stuff. I would actually probably agree with this. Yeah, 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 appreciate that. Thanks, mate. That's, That's right, good. mate. Yeah, That's right. Really I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max, where do you stand? Screaming at the opposition line out does nothing. Where do you stand? Probably one for you, isn't it? Um, it probably does do something, cause, but actually, no. No, I actually disagree. I don't think it does do much because you usually get the call before you go into the line out, don't you? Well, you, you take it away, mate. Uh, well, I'm not the line-out <laughs> expert, but my expertise is that you get the call before you line out and then you tell, your, yeah. you tell the hooker. So them shouting doesn't actually, shouldn't really make a difference because you already know where the ball's going. Whereas if you're calling it when you're both together and they're trying to hear a call, then that'd be a bit different. That, then it wouldn't yeah. make a difference. But yeah. would, would you agree with that? Do so, you, do you, do you I, I, shout no, with the line-up? Uh, yeah, well, I do, I do a little bit, but, but it's only because sometimes... What kind of chat do you give? No, but, or, what kind I'm, of chat not great chat, I'll call it. Well, yeah, let's, let's hear something in the line. Like, uh, hurry up. Oh, nice, mate, yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I mean is, what I mean is, like, it's not always... You might have one call before you go there, right? Yeah. But in the line, sometimes things change, you know, like you, you might not, that space might not be there, yeah, so you yeah. have to change. Oh, really? So that flusters the other team a little bit. And trust me, from a caller, I understand <laughs> yeah, what it's like to be flustered. You flustered. Get a bit flustered so yeah. from that from that aspect, I think it is is very beneficial. Now, that's why the other team like to have it stopped, okay. especially the caller. Yeah, yeah. Well, take it from the expert himself. Yeah. Uh -huh. There so, we go. I think it does help. All right. but well, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you because you're yeah. the one who's in, in and amongst it. So there you go. <laughs> go. Right, Nick, where do you stand that karaoke is all about the song choice and not the way it's sung? Yeah, all about the song choice. I agree completely. I agree completely. Because, it, because right, if you know the song inside and out, you're, you're going to hit the high tunes, the low tunes. You know what I mean? Whereas if you don't know the song, you don't know when... Yeah, but it's karaoke, you get the, yeah, you no, get but the like, lyrics, mate. But like the actual flow of the song and the rhythm, you know? Yeah, yeah, So, in that respect, like, I think it's the song... But the then song a good thing. singer can make a bad song good, you know what I mean? Yeah, but not everyone's a good singer. Not everyone. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. So, what would, what's your go-to karaoke song? Uh, it, it would be like Drake. Drake, Drake cool. Uh, I love a bit of Drake. Drizzy. Yeah, a little bit of Drake. What, what, what song are you going uh, for? Probably one of my favourite songs. Uh, Shot for me by Drake. Really? I'm not going to sing it now. I know that's your. I actually speech. don't know how it goes. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't imagine no, no, no. it's a, a karaoke. I don't. No, 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 no. I can't imagine no, 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 no. it's a karaoke song. Though. No, no. no. Uh, what's your go-to, mate? So that's probably a good example of a bad karaoke song, <laughs> no, but yeah, maybe well, delivered in a good but, way. No, but for you though, that's what I mean. For you, it'd be bad. For me, it'd be great. Because you know the rhythm yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, of course. What about you? Mine be what you said? A little angels number, mate. <laughs> That gets the crowd going. You got to oh, get, you got to get see, a crowd pleaser. See, uh, like, I I'm actually agree. I agree with the statement. You yeah. got to, If you get a crowd pleaser, if you're bad, the crowd are going to sing exactly. above you anyway. So exactly. What That's does it, it matter? So we're in another agreement. Yeah, there agreement. We go. Like, you know what I mean? Agreement. There we go. All right. So yeah, song choice is crucial. Yep. For karaoke. Max, where do you stand? Voice notes are better than text messages. <clears throat> see, I'm I'm not a voice noter. Firstly, because I hate the sound of my voice. I think most people do. 
But I do see the attraction in that it gets your point across quicker. And if you're catching up with someone, instead of exchanging and waiting for them to reply, or whatever, you just say it all in a minute and then Respect it's all push. out there. But I'm not a voice note to myself, if I'm yeah. honest. What about you? Uh, I'm probably neither. Neither. Honest, like what I, do don't, you do? I don't really like doing either. I just, you just, just call someone, just call, bang. Yeah. You just call someone and then you keep calling them until they pick up. <laughs> <laughs> and then your conversation's done in a minute and you don't have to text. And then you just give a little reminder later. It's hard to go against that because it's a better, better <laughs> version of a voice note, really, isn't, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah, can't really use that against you. Um, I think, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly you just put the phone call in there. So, it's a tough uh, one no, to go I'm, against. I'm, uh, sorry, man. The phone no, call just, it's just overbears yeah. the voice note. Remember, this is all personal preference. But I've done it to you in the past, right? I've called, I've, I've called you, you probably yeah, like, oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it'll just be a conversation. I'm like, do you know what I mean? It's quick, we'll it's wait quicker. For that. We'll, <laughs> we'll leave that five minutes. Cheers, cheers, <laughs> Jacket. All right. <laughs> good, good. Right, Nick, where do you stand with which coach delivers the best meeting? Um, I think I stand on the fence. <laughs> cool. Uh, stand or sit? Oh, stand or sit. I don't, I don't mind either stand or. Stand on I the think, fence? I think I sit on the fence. Sometimes stand, they're all great in their own, <laughs> in their own little ways. Yeah. Um, I would say, I would say, if I had to come off the fence and I had to choose one, DV is very good. Yeah. That's, Dan Vick is very good. He's he's had some great ones in the past. Yeah. Where he yeah. just gets gets the crowd going. Yeah. He's a, yeah. Yeah. He so, has some. Yeah. He's very creative with what he does. Yeah. Um, he's come up with some good. good things in the past. Some songs that the, the yeah. squad sing. I agree with that. Um, They've all, they've all got their own little, little things. Yeah, so. yeah. Stop <laughs> trying to beat around the bush, right? No, not beat around the bush, but I'd say DB's, DB's probably one of Powerly, them. Power, Powerly's very, can be very passionate with this, can't yeah, he? Yeah, very, yeah. very emotive. I mean, when he speaks on a Monday morning, you already feel like the game's coming. He's, just, he's gone out, he's like, Powerly can't. You're going out come on. Yeah, session. he's going to say. And you're, uh, you're go, your blood's you. pumping already. It's like, Powerly, Jesus. <laughs> running mate. through big walls yeah, on exactly. a Monday. Um, yeah. yeah, he gets into it. So um, we're, we're in agreement, DV's probably. I'd say DV's come up with the best ones over, yeah. over the past, yeah. yeah. Max, I know you like to, to grab a couple of these in the, in the season, but. Me, man, I'm never on the back of a moment. Anyway, uh, on, push, the question push, first. <laughs> push over tries should um, should count as team tries. I'm not one to pass comment, but like, Jinxie wouldn't be happy if I said they should, <laughs> that's for sure. So, and Wolfie. Wolfie, I think, ended up getting, what, 10 tries yeah, last year? Yeah, yeah, we're Pretty much like nine for all from the back of a moment. <laughs> yeah. I think whoever picks it up, right, is it's their try. You can't put that down on the scoreboard as a, as a, as a team try. Yeah, yeah. Them, because it just defeats. What, you know what yeah, I mean, try is. I was a bit worried last year when obviously top try scorer and George McGuigan was getting on yeah, the back yeah, of Moles yeah, and he was just chasing yeah, me. I was like, God. Mate, he did score some crackers. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> and I was like, all he needs to do is get on the back of a mole and he's got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to ask you a question. You Should on. lollipop tries count as team tries or is it a count yeah, as yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no you, way, they're individual. When you get it on the wing they're and individual. you run two metres and put it down, what happens there? <laughs> what happens there? Nah, it's got to go down as they got to finish it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> No, I yeah, love no, I, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think any try should go down as a team try. I think really? there's recognition when people before you or in front of you have done a good job, and the try scorer doesn't necessarily get the get the applause. It's yeah. understandably so. <laughs> yeah. um, we, to be fair, we've celebrated some tries, and I, if, if I've been calling or whatever, people have come to me first before I'm like, really? Yeah, was good drills. Was on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, good call, good call. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah sure. so, we, so no, no team tries. <laughs> no, no, nah. no team tries. Nah. Nah.